Hi everyone, this is Dom from Tech Advisor, and I'm here with a brand new Honor 20 Pro and January's Honor View 20 to set the two Honor flagships side by side, see what's new in the 20 Pro, what makes it Pro, and whether that's a good reason for, to opt for what is probably a reasonably more expensive phone than the brilliant View 20. Let's go. Okay, so basically I'm gonna break this down into three main sections. I'm gonna talk about how the phones look, I'm gonna talk about internal specs, and then I'm gonna focus down on the cameras, which as you can see, is pretty much where the biggest differences are gonna be. So, in terms of how these two phones look, I mean, front on, they're basically pretty similar. I mean, what we can see is they both got the pinhole, cap, pinhole selfie camera sitting in the top left corner. So that's instead of having a notch or bezels or a sort of slidey out camera or a flippy camera or anything like that. They both just got this little cutout uh, and you can see sort of little touches like in this one, Honor is given a default wallpaper that has a parrot's eye to sit in its spot. So I, I'm actually a big fan of the pinhole camera or punch hole camera or in screen camera, whatever you want to call it. Um, some people don't like it. They find it gets in the way when you're watching videos, playing games, and you've still got this little sort of spot in the corner of the screen. But that's preference, but they are both the same in that sense. Screens, you may not be able to tell at first glance. They are slightly different sizes. The View 20 screen is just a little bit bigger. Uh, it's 6.4 inches, and I think the, the 20 Pro is 6.25 or something in that region. So they're, they're really similar sizes. The View 20 does come out just a little bit bigger. And actually, you can also see at the bottom, there's a smaller chin on the 20 Pro, which is on the right-hand side here, which means as a whole, actually, the 20 Pro is a shorter phone than the View 20, um, even more so than the sort of the difference in screen would account for. So that's nice. I think the 20 Pro is a really nice, uh, compact size. It's kind of an interesting choice. Normally when companies do these Pro models, the Pro model tends to be a much bigger display, a much bigger phone overall, whereas the 20 Pro is the same size as the 20, and like I just said, kind of smaller than the View 20. So it's interesting that it's still a compact Pro model, which might be nice if you're someone who wants those top specs and camera, but doesn't actually feel like they need a giant phone for it to be housed in. Um, Otherwise, we're mostly similar. We see we both got USB-C for charging. Um, one notable difference, there is a headphone jack on the View 20, um, which is missing from the 20 Pro. No headphone jack anymore, which is a shame. Um, so that might be a deal breaker for you. Uh, and on the side here, we'll see one of the other big differences. This uh, power button here doubles as a side fingerprint scanner. Um, so it means it's sort of there quite in a quite natural position when you're holding the phone with your thumb there. Um, whereas on the View 20, we have the rear fingerprint scanner in that kind of classic place for your finger to pick it up while you're, while you're there. So um, there's not a lot in it, really. It's just, that's just a design preference. Uh, and getting to the back, then, fairly similar. Uh, as you see, there's quite different colors, but they, they both have slightly different color ranges. Um, uh, you would be able to get the 20 Pro in this blue, which is kind of the iconic on a color, I guess. Um, they're both the black models. Um, I think there's a red View 20, there's, but you can't get it in this kind of purpley finish. There's also a greenish one of the 20 Pro. So the colors are a little different, but they've all, they all do this kind of, you know, nice reflective glass, gradient finish. Um, one touch on the View 20 you can hopefully see is that there's this V gradient that runs down it, V, view, you know. You can see where they're going with it. Nothing like that on the 20 Pro. So again, that's just uh, gonna be a question of personal preference, whether you like. I'm a, I, I love the, the look of the back of the View 20, actually. It's, for my money, uh, one of the most beautiful phones out there from just a physical design standpoint. And I think the 20 Pro looks lovely, but it's not quite on the same level without that kind of V effect. But, you know, that's just taste. Um, both got, you know, just on a logo there. Camera, obviously, I'm gonna talk about that properly later, but you can see there is a big difference. Much smaller camera module on the View 20 and it's horizontal versus this big, chunky vertical one uh, on the 20 Pro. That difference is accentuated when you set the phone side by side like that, as we can hopefully see. There is a big camera bump on the 20 Pro. It's real bad. Uh, this is up there with the Huawei P30 and P30 Pro for like big camera bump. Uh, it means if I set the phone down, uh, there's like a big rocking effect because it just doesn't sit flat. So you're probably going to have a case on this thing rather than scratching those lenses up. Um, it also just means the phone as a whole 
feels quite a lot thicker. It's not a huge difference, but especially with the camera bump, the 20 Pro feels thicker. Um, it, it, partly there's a slightly more rounded edge on the back of the, uh, of the View 20. It's just a bit more of a curve, which helps it feel slimmer and thinner than the 20 Pro, but it's not a huge thing. I think overall for me, the View 20 wins on that design standpoint, because from the front, they're basically identical. But from the back, the smaller camera module, the thinner bump, in fact, the whole body is like sort of a fraction of a millimeter thinner, the V design, all of these things come together to mean, for me, the View 20 looks stunning and the 20 Pro just looks really good. <laughs> okay, uh, specs wise, we're actually gonna see even less that's different between them. They are both running a Kirin 980 processor, which is Huawei's flagship chip. Um, they come with slightly different RAM and storage options. I think the, uh, the 20 Pro is only available with 256 gig of storage, whereas with a View 20, you get a choice of 128 or 256. Um, and RAM, they're both like sort of six, eight gigabyte are the options you get. Um, basically, performance-wise, these are gonna be identical. They're both gonna run stuff really quickly. I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, the flagship uh, processor, we're talking top RAM, top storage, these are going to be very fast phones. They're going to be capable of anything you throw at them, whether that's video or multitasking or gameplay stuff. Honor's making a big fuss about how good these phones are for gaming. They've partnered with Fortnite and stuff like that to uh, emphasize that you can sort of play Fortnite at 60 FPS and things like that. There's game mode and all that kind of stuff built in. So they're the same. Specs wise, these really are fundamentally in the same space. There's nothing to really pull them apart. There's no particular reason to prefer one to the other on that. Uh, same for battery, actually, while I'm on that. They're both 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. They've both got 22.5 watt fast charging, which get you about half the battery in half an hour. So again, they're identical. Just specs aren't anything to think about. These are both top, top spec phones. Camera. Camera is where the phones come apart. And this is where the 20 Pro pulls ahead in a big way and the question for you deciding between them is, does it pull ahead enough to justify the price hike? So, main lens on both is actually the same sensor. They've both got a 48 megapixel IMX586 sensor. So, it's, a, it's great. It means you can, take sort of, you can take sort of super clarity 48 megapixel shots, or normally it will take 12 megapixel shots and use pixel binning to get those at uh, really great quality too. So, you're getting basically the same thing there. One thing that's different is while the sensor is the same, the lens on top is slightly different. Uh, Honor's put in a new lens on the 20 Pro, which has a f1.4 aperture. That means in theory, it will be better at low light shots in particular, um, and will just generally be better about sort of color reproduction and that kind of thing. Testing them side by side, we didn't see a massive difference. And actually even in low light, I didn't see a massive difference, and I would be tempted to say I actually preferred the low light shots I got off the View 20. But yeah, it, it, it's not going to be a big game changer in terms of the main camera. I would say that main lens is functionally the same. Uh, it could be that with more software tweaks, uh, Honor can make more out of that lens on the 20 Pro, but it's not a big deal. The bigger difference is what you get on the other lenses, because what we see when we go onto the 20 Pro is that we have a range of options. We have a wide angle to pull back, uh, which is 60 megapixels. But we can also punch in to a three times telephoto, uh, which is three times optical zoom with optical image stabilization. It's basically the same that we've seen in the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Huawei P30, though it's not on the level of the five times zoom in the P30 Pro. Um, you can then punch in again, that's five times. That's a combination of the optical zoom and some digital stuff from the main lens and you can zoom into a ridiculous 30 times over there, but as you can probably see, that that's when the quality does, does drop off. But that's the big thing you're getting here that the View 20 just doesn't offer. There are multiple lenses here, but the other lens is just um, there's a time of flight, some depth sensing camera, which will, is mainly used for sort of some gimmicky 3D games, uh, and more importantly for improving portrait mode stuff. So you're not getting that wide angle mode or that zoom mode uh, at all in the View 20. Um, it's also worth pointing out there is a fourth lens 
on the 20 Pro. It's a quad camera. That's a two megapixel super macro lens. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. It's designed for like, when I say macro, it's designed for like being four centimeters, so like two inches away from what you're trying to shoot. Most people don't shoot photos like that very often, let's be honest. And actually, even when you do at two megapixels, it's not tremendous quality. So don't let that sway you. Ignore the quad camera, it's the triple camera that matters. If you really want wide angle and telephoto and a good telephoto, the 20 Pro is a great option for that. And that would be a reason to opt for this phone over the View 20. Because everything else is basically the same. Um, the big question about then is pricing. Uh, at the time of shooting this, we don't know the pricing. If you're watching it, that means pricing will have been announced, so you will have a better idea than us. The View 20, I'm just going to talk British pricing because it never came out uh, in the States, probably, I don't think. Um, £499 for 128 gig storage model. The better comparison point is that it was £579 for the 256 model, which is what the 20 Pro is coming in. So that, that was in January. It's already dropped down since then, so you can get it for sort of 100 less than that. So really, you're looking at around £500 for a View 20 right now. So what I'd want to see from the 20 Pro to compare there is that if the 20 Pro was at 550 that would be a, a, a very good price point to justify like 50 pounds extra to get those two lenses. Even up to 600, it would be a tempting proposition to get those extra lenses. The problem is once you hit 600, you're gonna start looking and saying, well, for a bit more, I could get a OnePlus 7 Pro or a Huawei P30. And those come with some other stuff that, that the 20 Pro just doesn't have that might tempt you to make that extra leap up. So yeah, it, it, if, if the price is close, the 20 Pro is going to win it. If there's a big price gap, the View 20 would still be a compelling option because everything else about the phones is really similar. That main camera is still really good. And having extra lenses is great. Having a wide angle, having a telephoto, those are great options, but they're not going to be the day-to-day -day lenses. They're not going to be the thing you shoot most of your photos with. So you have to really think about how much you're willing to pay for those options of different shooting modes that are just going to be occasional use. That's kind of up to you. I can't help too much. But other than that, these are the same phones, really. There's not a lot to pull them apart, unless you really like that V finish like me. Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of other footage uh, videos coming out at the moment about the Honor 20 Pro. So check those out. We've got a comparison with the OnePlus 7 Pro. We're going to do some other stuff. I think we're going to pit it against the Huawei P30 soon, stuff like that. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks very much. <laughs>